Hey guys, King Dro here. Today I'll be showing you how to get a Reaper and the impregnation process. Alright, so here it is on the map. Uh, it is found in the blue zone. We are actually at the tip of the blue and the red zone. The red zone is the radiation zone, so you will need a hazard suit. I always carry a spare in case something breaks. You also need a feather light, a spino or a megalosaurus for damage, and a spyglass. I put my teleporter near the public trap. It is right on the non-radiation zone. So once you get impregnated, the only way to make it fail is to become radiated without a hazard suit. So that's why it's easier to do in the non-radiation zone. So we are now in the radiation area. This is the first area that I'm going to show you. It's really easy. Um, it's very close to the non-radiation zone, so then I can drag the Reaper to the location that I want. Usually there's one or two Reaper spawns up here. Uh, right now I don't see any, so we are going to check the next area. You can kill everything and then leave render, come back, and there might be some more, but right now I'm not. So here we go to the next area. This area is a lot more dangerous. Um, there are a ton of dinos here, so sometimes you have to you have to clear it. Um, the seekers are attracted to the light pet, so if you turn them off the light pet, it will uh, debuff them and you can actually kill them faster. Um, but then that also can spawn nameless, so that's why you have to turn it back on. So we're gonna head down here. And there usually is one over here. You will see a cloud of smoke. You can see it over there on the left. So you just get closer to it and it will spawn. You want to spyglass it, see the level. And it's not a super high level, but just to show you the process, I'm going to take it. All right, so now I'm going to drag it back up to the trap. It's not that far. You're just going to, uh, you know, stay close enough to aggro it and it will follow you. Sometimes it gets stuck on a rock or a cloud of dinos. The drake is nice because you can just jump over the hurdle of dinos that you might encounter. So just give it a second here. It keeps getting stuck on things here, so you might have to kill. Now, if you get too far ahead of it, it does go back into the ground. Not a problem. If you go back, it'll come back out. I'm just going to clear this area slightly better because there's a lot of stuff in the way here. Alright, so I got its attention again. So, same process, you just have it follow you. I'm almost to the trap here. Now, this isn't my trap. You can certainly um, look up how to build this trap or something similar. Some traps don't work very well. So, this trap is perfect because the drake can actually fit underneath the opening. So, just like this. Boom, now it's trapped. And. At this point, you're going to either unpod your Spino or your Megalosaurus. I uh, I prefer to use a Megalosaurus for the damage, uh, just because I have one available here. So you're going to unpod your Megalo. Have your light pet still, because you have to debuff the Reaper. When the light is on, it will actually debuff the Reaper. So you're going to damage it for quite a while here, depending on, on your melee, of course. And you want to get it bloody so at some point when it gets to about I I think it's like 5% health or something like that you will actually see a uh, pink cloud over the Reaper and that's how you know it's ready to do its impregnation all right so at this point it's getting pretty bloody so you want to slow down your DPS I have accidentally killed Reapers before 
um, especially if you're new at this. So when it gets to about this point, I always stop, turn off your light, and you look at your Reaper, and if you see a, a pink cloud over it, it's ready. If it's not, okay, it's not, so we're going to keep damaging it, but go slow, um, especially if you have a high melee dino, like a really good Megalo or a really good Spino, you, you can actually kill it very easily. So no cloud yet, so we're going to keep chomping here. Sometimes you have to clear the area. Um, sometimes the nameless do spawn, or there's a carnal or something else. So I was always to like to take care of those because the last thing you want is more a distraction during the time of this. Also, um, I go really slow with the biting at the end here because I don't want to accidentally kill it. So go super slow, you know, bite it, wait a second, see if it changes its color. All right. There's the glow. You can see it's got like a pink glow over its head. That's when it's ready for impregnation. So now you're just going to wait close to it with your dino. Be mounted. It will actually pull you off your dino when it's ready to impregnate. It will do some sort of like a sniffing action on your dino. It will use its tail, rip you off the dino, and then it does the animation for it. Now, don't do what I do and by accidentally forget my dino on neutral and then it will go after the reaper. So please be careful with that so your dino doesn't accidentally kill the, the reaper queen. Alright, so it did its animation, but for some reason, the way that the, the reaper was, it failed. It didn't actually work. Sometimes it's due to the trap. So after some testing, I've done this like five different times with the, the megalo, it kept failing. So I'm switching to the Drake, and we'll see how that works. All right, there you go. Impregnation complete. When it's done, it will bring you down to like five health. Um, regardless of your, your health, it will always bring you down to the same amount, so don't panic. Um, so quickly eat your brew or food or whatever you got and then you can either kill the reaper leave it it doesn't matter um, i kill it for the experience now you see at the bottom uh right it says offspring experience that's how many levels the uh, dino's gonna get when it's born so it's 2x right now on official so it takes six hours uh i'm going to kill it for the experience and you're gonna get uh quite a bit f from killing this See, 38 levels on the baby. So you have six hours to get it to max level, which is 74 levels, I believe, or 73. Um, and then uh, in six hours, it will be born. Okay, so I'm going to show you the fastest way to get experience to get to your max level of 74, I think it is. So you're going to want a Spino, and you're going to go to the main river. Um, in the aberration zone and you're just gonna go up and down the river and you're just gonna kill everything and the spinal works great because it's fast in the water it uh, barely uses any stamina it regenerates health fast uh, and it can kill things very easily um, unless you have a really bad spinal of course you can see that this river is just loaded with fish tons of fish actually to the point where it can actually lag you pretty bad because it can't display all of the kills that you're doing. But it's a great way. Uh, kill all the fish. Just keep left clicking the whole way. Kill the crabs and the spinals especially. The spinals give the most experience. So by the time I hit the end of the river, I will be almost at max level. So, you know, you go down all the way down the river. And then you go all the way back. By the time you get back, you're just about done. If not, you can do it again. This is 2x right now, so it's going to be a little faster. If it was 1x, obviously you have to do a little bit more. This is the safest way to level up. Um, certainly you can go to the, the radiation zone and kill the queens, but the problem with that idea is if you for some reason died or lagged or whatever and your radiation killed you, 
the baby would also die. So I don't recommend that way. So while we're waiting for all this hap uh, to happen here, uh, I, I will also mention that when the baby is born, it's not like any other kind of birth. It will kind of just rip through your stomach and then you have to claim it. Now, it's very aggressive when it's first born. So that's what the uh, pheromone glands are from the Reaper Queen that you get. When you take one of those, it allows you to feed the baby. Um, I don't use that way. I just basically uh, go naked and let it kill me. It also helps feed it that way. Um, that's the safest way. Uh, I also recommend putting yourself in like a one by one or even two by two room, empty with nothing else in it, because it's also aggressive toward dinos. I've never actually tried it, but I believe it can also kill your tames. So when it's very aggressive in its uh, baby phase, so I always like to keep it separated from everything else. Now, the hardest part about the whole Reaper process is literally just finding a high-level Reaper. I mean, you saw the process isn't too terrible. Um, it's just literally finding a high level. That can take some time. I only do Reapers during the events, so I can get a nice color. But as you can see, after just a few minutes, I'm already up 52 levels. It's been literally 8 minutes since uh, I got impregnated, since it was 6 hours at full time. And that's pretty much it. Alright guys, that's it for today. Um, hopefully my uh, Reaper impregnation process was helpful in showing people who don't know how to do this. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. And please don't forget to subscribe so I can continue making hopefully helpful videos for everybody. Have a nice day.